So we'll be using a Las Vegas pendant and my gold chain for the test. Now the Las Vegas pendant is stamped for 18 karat GP or gold plated. And my chain is stamped for 18 karat. Now your refrigerator magnets won't work here because they're way too weak. So you want to get yourself some rare earth magnets, which you could find at your local hardware shop, jewelry supply store, or online. I'll leave a link down in the description for one. Now gold isn't magnetic. So if you have a piece that you think of it might be gold and you put a magnet right up to it and it springs right up, that is more than likely not going to be gold. There's a couple of exceptions with sometimes the clasp of a chain where the mechanism itself is magnetic. But if the chain itself isn't, that's a good sign. Now for the next test, I'll be using my trusty stone here along with some 18 karat acid in order to test the realness of the gold here. Now first, we're going to rub both of our items in the stone to leave a mark behind. Like a line, as you can see, my stone is, has been used quite a bit, so there's already a lot of lines. So I apologize if you can't see it too well. But you'll notice that the chain leaves a more define mark than the pendant does. Now once you apply as the, the 18 karat acid on top of both of these lines, you'll notice that the pendant line dissolves and clears up. But the chain line remains clearly visible beneath the acid. That's another good sign when testing your gold. Finally, the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to place both items on my black stone here and I'll be applying directly to them 14 karat acid. Now, as you can see in the video, I wasn't using gloves as I had run out of them, but I do highly recommend that you do as getting these acids on your hand will leave them stained and it will burn and itch for a little bit. Now, so we've got them both laid out, and we'll be applying it directly on top of them. As you can see here, when I apply directly onto the chain, nothing changes. But when applied to the pendant itself, 
it begins dissolving it, creating these green bubbles and this awful smell. If you get no reaction out of your pieces, but are still questioning whether the stuff you're testing is real or not, you could simply take a file and file down the sides to get in a little bit deeper to make sure that it's not just the plating that you're hitting, but that you're hitting the inside. So that would give you a more certain test of what the item is made out of. Now all of these tests don't guarantee that your piece will be 100% real gold. Therefore I recommend using a combination of them. And if you still have doubts, to simply search for an expert and have them tested as some of the refineries or jewelry stores have much more expensive machinery that will give you more precise results.